What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys Scizor and Houndoom in Regulation H. Now, the team that we are showcasing today was made by another YouTuber. It goes by Cisco Mew. Huge shout out to him for making this team and making it a rental code. So, if you guys want to check out the team more in depth, make sure you guys head over to his channel. Link is down in the description below. But we got a fan favorite. We got Scizor. Everybody loves Scizor. I love Scizor. We're rocking out with it, seeing how good it's going to be in Regulation H. Now, let's talk about it a little bit. It's it's a bug and steel type, so it's four times weak to fire, which is kind of why we have Houndoom. If Scissor's going up against a fire type Pokemon, we can just swap into Houndoom, flash fire up, take no damage, and then boost our next fire move, which is awesome. Really, really cool combo right there. Scissor's got Technician with the Life Orb, making it do a crazy amount of damage with Bullet Punch, Dual Wing Beat, Pounce, and Protect. Houndoom over here is a Dark Fire type with the Grass Terror type, which is probably the best Terror type for any flash fire user. Back in a couple formats ago, we've seen Heatran, or I should say Flashfire Heatran, Rock Grass Terra, and actually use it really well. So I think Houndoom can do the same. Houndoom's got the Focus Ash with Heat Wave, Dark Pulse, How to Boost Physical Attack, and then last but not least, it's got Protect. Our other four Pokemon on today's team feature Primarina, Grimmsnarl, Incineroar, and Rollboom. I'm not going to talk about Incineroar and Rollboom because they have been part of a meta, or part of the meta, since Regulation G has started. So they're not going anywhere. They're going to be on a tons of teams. That is showcase. Grimmsnarl is here for screens. Primarina is a nice little Pokemon that is actually going to see a lot of usage across Regulation H. It's got Liquid Voice, Throat Spray, Sparkling Area. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Don't hate me. Hyper Voice, Moon Blast, and Protect. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's go hop to our first match showcasing Sizzler. I love how each and every day I hop onto the casual ladder with Regulation H teams, we are seeing more and more people use Regulation H teams. We're going up against a Conkledor, Mimikyu, and Torkoal Trickling team with Hisui and Logan, with Amoongus, and King Gambit. So a really cool team, but honestly, a kind of tough team considering they have uh, Hisui and Logan and Torkoal because they're just so such a strong combo. We're going to have to watch out for that, but who should we lead here? We could maybe just go like Houndoom alongside with Grimstrong because Houndoom can kind of counter that uh that what's it called that Torkoal right there I actually really like that so you know what I am going to end up going Houndoom as our lead if they want to go into a Trick Room user it would be Mimikyu and at that point do I just go into like Scizor or do I just go into set up screens and kind of play off that Trick Room I think I think setting up screens is definitely our best option so I'm going to go into both of them I am going to bring in Scissor. I don't think we really want Incineroar because they have a lot of... Actually, they got a few physical attackers. Actually, a lot of physical attackers now that I look at it. Can't really intimidate King Gambit, though. That's my that's my only issue with bringing Incineroar. But I, I'm down to bring it. I mean, we can intimidate Conkledor, Mimikyu, Hisui, and Logan, who I believe is physical attacking, right? Yeah, it uses, like, Solar Blade. But yeah, look at that dude's picture. Just a crew of Mimikyus. <laughs> Love me some Mimikyu. It's just such a cool Pokemon. But they're gonna end up leading Mimikyu and Conkledor, so yeah, they're gonna be able to get they're gonna be able to get off Trick Room pretty easily here. Um, I'm kind of scared of the fighting move. I could set up a Reflect, and I could also just go into a Heat Wave. Maybe look for some Burns here. And yeah, I'm cool with that. I'll go for Reflect, and maybe swap something in for Houndoom or swap Incineroar in next turn. Maybe I can get a burn here. Burn or two burns would be amazing. Get a critical hit on Conkledor. Any burns? Show me a burn. Show me something. Give me something. Now nah, we don't get no burns. Rock Slide's going to connect. Do some good damage to Houndoom. And Trick Room's going to get set up. Yep, so Trick Room's here. I think swapping Houndoom is probably best for us. So we can intimidate these two guys. And you have Flame Orb. So the burn didn't even matter. The burn did not matter. So we'll swap it to Incineroar. Actually, do you have Protect on you? Let's Protect this turn. Let's play it. Let's play it slow. So I'll Protect this turn. I will go into a uh, a Spirit Break, and I'll kind of look to just KO this Conqueror. Right? But we're wasting out some nice Trick Room turns. Playing it slow. And he's going to double down with Rock Slide. Rock Slizzle. And you might be going for a player. This could be this could be deadly for my, uh, my Grimstorm. I'm hoping it could survive another turn. Of course, I flinch. Awesome, and there's the player off. And I do survive this turn. Okay. And my attack drops. We got we got a lot going on here. Alright, so we're gonna sacrifice the Grimstone. And we're gonna swap into Incineroar here. 
And we are just gonna go into... Do we just throw up a light stream? Yeah, I mean, if Torkoal's in the back, and you know, we, we'd, we'd, we'd rather throw up a light screen before we die out here. So I'll go for light screen. I will swap Hound Doom. I will get this physical attack drop. So then we have Reflect. Attack drops. We know Rock Slide is coming in here. We're hoping Incineroar can dodge it. But I mean, this thing being minus one with Reflect, but it does have Guts. I don't think it should be doing any crazy damage here. There's light screen. Can he miss at least one Rock Slide on somebody? Go for Drain Punch. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Because now you get back some HP. Conqueror is just a monster. Conqueror is just a beast. And he's going to stick with Player Off. So Player Off KOs me. Um, I can fake out Conqueror this turn. I could bring back out my Hounding if I want to. Or I could just go into Bullet Punch Scissor. Which I kind of like. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Scissor here. We're wasting out these stricken turns. We're gonna go Bull Punch into Mimis. And we're just gonna fake out the Conqueror. Shiny Scissor. Looks so dope. <laughs> it looks so good in this game. So there are two turns left in Trick Room. I can protect Scissor the turn after that. And yeah, I'm just gonna stick with the fake out. I'm gonna go with the Bullet Punch. And hopefully Mimikyu does not hit that Terra button. That would be scary for us. Maybe I should just double down into like Conqueror here. But Conqueror has a chance of protecting, knowing it's the only Pokemon that can be faked out. Alright, so we're almost done wasting out these Trick Room turns. Oh man, I do have Houndoom in the back end, which is actually pretty, pretty good for us. Especially if I can KO this Mimikyu here. Oh man, if I can KO this Mimikyu here, I really like where we're sitting. If I can KO this Mimikyu, he withdraws Mimikyu. You going in Torkoal here? Most likely. Yep, Torkoal comes out here. Alright, so Torkoal's here. I still have Terra. Um, Conqueror's... Not going to KO my Incineroar, but it's still going to... Actually, no, you're flinching here. Totally forgot. He's flinching. Bullet Punch is going to fly. Do about negative five. And I take some HP to the life one. Conqueror flinches. Real question is, do I sacrifice Houndoom or Incineroar? I wish I had Protect on you. I wish I had Protect, but you know, we're going to go for Flare Blitz KO there, and I'm just going to Protect you. I am just gonna have to protect you. You end up hard swapping Conqueror. Hold up, I can survive. What are you gonna go into here? You're gonna go back into Mimikyu. So Mimikyu might die out to just Flare Blitz. Mimikyu comes back out here. I think he's looking to set up Trick Room more so than anything. And we're gonna see a Fire Terra most likely pop out here. It's just Fire Terra Torkoal. So Trick Room turns, yeah, are wasted. I think my Incineroar should be able to soak up whatever he has to offer considering we have Light Shroom up. Even if it's an Eruption, you should soak this. So we protect up. I wouldn't mind if you died out the recoil and just pick up a KO onto Mimikyu. And yeah, there's Eruption. Incineroar, you should soak this. It's not crazy to say. You shouldn't soak this. Let's see. Yeah, you soak it all day. Cool. That's, that's actually massive. And I do have Berry. So, good news for us. Incineroar staying alive another turn. Incineroar. Let's go. That's a big time turn for us. So, Flare Blitz now flies. We did waste out Trick Room turns. We do pick up the KO on the Mimikyu. That's huge. We got speed now. We came to play. I could Parting Shot into the Torkoal if I really want to. That might be my play. Does he have another Trick Room user? Their Terror's gone. I'm going to have to send it on Scissor right here. I don't know if I should Hard Swap into... I think I am going to end up Hard Swapping into... Yeah, yeah this is going to be my play. Watch this, watch this, watch this. We got Flash Fire for a reason. They're definitely going to go for an Eruption or a Heat Wave, one or the other. And I have Water Terror on Scissor. So I'm going to Water Terrasalize Scissor. I'm going to swap Incineroar into Flash Fire Houndoom. And on top of that, I'm going to Dual Wing Beat down this Conqueror and look for the KO. That's my play. That's my play. Come on now. I'm trying to get after it. We are trying to get after it. So with the Light Screen, with the Water Terror, Scissor should soak rather well. Should soak rather well. There's the water terror. Oh man, this read has to be this this has to be a perfect read for us to uh, win this game. He has to go for double hitting fire move, and we do outspeed and we do pick up a KO. So that's huge. That is huge. So we pick up the KO, we get the crit, we're dead regardless. And show me eruption or heat wave. Heat wave would be better for us. And let's see what he does here. 
Goes for earth power. You go for earth power? You go for earth power on that read? Seeing Scissor just shown on field? Well, at least we have Scissor with more HP. That's a little bit better for us. We still have Incineroar. We have Fake Out ready to roll. And they're going to go into King Gambit. So, I mean, I can Flare Blitz that King Gambit and just get rid of it. Which I might have to. I'm thinking I have to. Yes, yeah, Sucker Punch. Oh, man. Do I even fake out anybody this, this turn? I think we just have to straight up go for this Flare Blitz with the Reflect Up. Try to KO you. And then go for Dual Wing Beat. Try to do as much damage as we can. He's gonna go Sucker Punch into Scizor, which I soak. Hold up. Give me a chance here. Just give me a chance. I don't think we'll win this one. I think we needed that read to be perfect. So we end up Dual Wing Beaten. Take some Life Orb damage. Are you going for Earth Power? We need this thing to go for Earth Power if we want to shot at win this game. Because we KO with that. And if you go for Earth Power in Incineroar, we can win this game. Let's see. Or are you going for Double Hitting Move? He goes for Earth Power into Incineroar. Wow. That's huge. That's huge. So the swap was really clutch. I mean, I wish we would have got, obviously, that, uh... That, what's it called? I wish, obviously, we would have gotten the, uh... I can't even think of what it's called. The Flash Fire read. But, we have a chance to win it right here with Dual Wing Beat. Can you pick up the KO, Skizzy? We're going for it right now. For the win! Let's see. I swear, if you live on 1 HP, Dual Wing Beat flies, that's game. That's game all day. The comeback clutch with Scissor, Houndoom, and Sinor. We love it. Wasting out Strickland turns, getting those screens up with Grim Snarl, and winning this match. That last match right there is why Regulation H is going to be amazing. What a solid battle. Trick Room going up on their end. Us wasting out Trick Room. Match coming down to the wire. We love it. Going up against a Puzzle and Mining team in match number two with Corver Knight. And uh, what is that? Sinistruck, Lamora, and Salomon. So they can intimidate me if they want to. I could just go into like Houndoom. But I do think that they are going to lead uh, Salamence. And honestly, we could maybe just lead Primarina and just go into like... Throat spray to start boosting him up or her up. Yeah, I like it. I'm all about it. So I'm gonna go Primarina here as our lead. I think Grimmsnarl always gonna be solid, so I am gonna end up leading Grimmsnarl. I'm gonna bring Skizzy in the back end because Sizzle is the man. The go. And last but not least, do we go Houndoom? Or do we go in with a Pokemon like Incineroar? I mean, Houndoom could be good. But Glamour is kind of scaring me. That's my only issue. Screw it. We're going Houndoom. This video is about showcasing Scissor right now. We're gonna bring in Hound. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, loving this team so far. A lot of fun when you use off meta Pokemon, and Regulation H kind of allows for more off meta teams. When it's like Regulation G is just like if you use an off meta team, it's more so like, hey, you're just gonna get dumped on by legendaries. But in Regulation H, it, like, it allows for more like versatility, right? Because like the level or the power level is kind of lower, if that makes sense. They're gonna end up going into Intimidate Boy. Which is fine. I'm side with Plusle. Plusle, what are, what are you here to do? That's that's my real question. That's my real question. Hmm. I want this uh, throat spray boost. So I'm gonna end up doing that, and I'm gonna set up this reflect or light screen. You physical or special attacking? That's that's. I'm, I'm gonna say you're physical attacking. It's elements. That puzzle, I don't really know what that puzzle's doing. Okay, so you let me get off this throat spray boost. Unless puzzle's hitting like an absolute truck going into mine in here. Yeah, what does this combo do? I feel like they have to thrive with each other. I like this Pokemon. Oh, you got thunder! <laughs> Alright, even through light screen? Ah, dang. Actually, I went for reflect. Alright, I see you. I understand. I understand. These guys aren't playing around. <laughs> These guys are not playing around. We're gonna go for Heat Wave here. I do have Grass Terra. 
Honestly, I might just stand here. Electric type's kind of looking scary. And I'll set up this light screen. Yeah, I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. We're on grass tower. We're not. We can't afford to take a lot of damage here to any grass move or electric move, I should say. But what I'm thinking here is just terrestrializing, maybe swapping and getting up some howls for my skizzy. But heat wave should be able to chuck up some nice damage. These Pokemon aren't that strong defensively, so hoping for some damage here. Maybe you're gonna go. You're gonna choose E Web here. I really don't want to lose this. I really don't want to lose this. Double E Web. Oh, man. Chill out. All right, so you slow me down. Big whoop. Big whoop. What are you gonna do now? Of course, I'm missing heat waves. Always. Always. I get a crit, though. We'll go for another heat wave, I guess. And you know, we're just gonna stay on this field. And we're just gonna spirit break down this one. You're slowing me down. You're slowing me down. This is actually hilarious. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I honestly wasn't expecting the thunder. I was more expecting like a helping hand kind of play from plus turn one. So that's why I was just like, all right, let's set up Hyper Boys. But we're going to end up seeing a withdrawal. Probably go back into Salamence. But Spear Break's fine in that slot. No, it's going to be Glamora. They're going to get off Toxic Sprikes, and you're going to Encore me into Heat Wave. Heat Wave's flying here. We do pick up a KO. Can I get a burn? A little bit of burn. A little bit of burn. No burn. We are going to drop this thing special attack, which is pretty good for us. With Spirit Break. And we do about negative 5 damage. So I get the special attack drop. The spikes do come out. I really don't have to worry about them because once I swap in the scissor, spikes are gone. Um, let's see who they go into because I might just protect and... Um, I might just protect and thunder wave that Glamora. Oh, I'm choosing the heat wave. Are you kidding me? Might be going for a uh, what's it called move. You might be going for a what's it called so... Honestly, you might be going for like a sludge bomb or something, so I think swapping into you is going to be your play. Yeah, I'm going to swap into Scizor in this slot. And then from here, do I Thunder Wave Glamora or do I Spirit Break Bustle here? Let's Spirit Break Bustle. I get my stats back. We're gonna get rid of these uh, spikes as well because when you steal, I'm pretty sure when a steel type comes in here, we just get rid of the, the spikes. But a steel type action. He's gonna go for entrainment over here. Oh no. He gets plus. He's hand off his ability and Sludge Wave is gonna fly here. Not gonna affect Scissor, but it's gonna kill Grimmsnarl, isn't it? No, Grimmsnarl actually soaks. It's a great swap for us. Spirit Break now flies into Puzzle. Bop, see you later. Now I'm ready to go. Now I'm ready to go. You wanna play games? I'll play games. I'll play games. Come on now. Gonna bring out Salamence, which is a little tougher on our end, but I am gonna paralyze it. I am gonna paralyze it. You know what? I'm gonna hard swap into Houndoom. I doubt you go for another Sludge Wave here. I'm gonna hard swap you. Actually, I could protect you, but I'd, ra I'd rather hard swap just for the sheer fact of uh, getting my attack stat back. So I'd rather sacrifice Houndoom more so than anything. And if I can Thunder Wave both of them, I can maybe get some speed going here. I do take poison. I thought I got rid of it, but I guess it just doesn't affect. So he's gonna try to slice Glamora here. I think I'm going for a bullet punch. No, it's gonna be Salamence, so I can bullet punch Glamora and take it out. You're gonna go into Fire Terror. They have Flash Fire, which is pretty good. So if you are going in with a Fire move into this Halloween slot, that could be really good. And he's gonna Spike Shield. This could be a great turn. This could be a really good turn for us. Thunder Wave is gonna connect. That is huge. I'm gonna try to Thunder Wave Glamour next turn as well. He's going for Heat Wave. That's huge. Flash Fire, baby. Flash Fire. And we slow this bad boy down. And I soak. Oh, yes. That's something we love. And I soak. So honestly, 
Salamence going to be the tougher of the two to get rid of, so honestly, I'm just going to go into that, and I'm just going to Thunder Wave Glamora down. Good swap so far for us. Good swaps. The thing is, Sludge, Sludge Wave will probably KO me. But I'm hoping I can land a Thunder Wave, because if I land a Thunder Wave, then I can outspeed, get off some nice damage with Dark Pulse. Have a flinch chance on top of the Thunder Wave, or on top of the Paralyzed chance, too. But let's see. Thunder Wave is connected. So we got Speed Control. Speed's on our side. We got some RNG chances here. Looking for a few Paralyzes. A Paralyze on Glamora this turn would be huge. If we do that. Dark Pulse now flies. Solid damage. And one of them's not moving. Who's not moving? Salamence. Can we get double? We don't double. And he goes for a Meteor Beam with Power Herb, right? The Power Herb? Yeah, do Power Herb. Puts a special attack back to normal. Um, again, I could Bullet Punch that and just KO it whenever I want. But can we survive this? I do, but Poison is going to take me out. Oh, man. Poison takes me out. Poison takes me out. I think we have to go after Salamence first, right? I think we have to double down into the Salamence first. I would love to just bull punch take out Glamora, but I'm not surviving a... What is it? A heat wave from me. I'm not. I'm not. I don't have Terra. I have to attack the Salamence. So I'm going to go for dual wing beat right into the slot, and I'm going to double down. I'm going to double down with Spirit Break. I have to. I have to, because if this Salamence moves and I bullet punch this Glamora, we lose this match. Pulls the dual wing beat flies, and that's going to KO. Yo, Skizzy! My boy Scizor! Skizzy, Skizzy, Sizzle. My dog. Skizzy's over here. That's what I call him, Skizzy. Skizzy picking up a monstrous KO. Spirit Break now slides over. Going to drop Glamour's special attack boost. And actually, you're out speeding my Grimmy Grim? That's kind of weird, but that's fine because I survived that all day. And now I can just bullet punch. You don't have Terra. I can pick up this win no problem. So another clutch match from your boy. This team ripping it up. Absolutely ripping it up. They canceled the match. GG's. Final match on its way. Your boy sitting 2-0. And we are versing Regulation H teams in every match in this video. So really cool. Hopefully you guys do enjoy the content. Going up against Komo O here. Match number three with Empoleon, Murkrow, Gold Dango, Golden Go, Gold Dango, whatever you guys want to call it. Confi and Hisuian Arcanine. So pretty good team right here. I mean, Prankster Murkrow can obviously get him speed control. Um, I don't mind leading Primarina. I mean, it didn't go so well last time, but I think it can go better this time. So I'm gonna lead Primarina here. Um I'll definitely lead Murkrow. So I could just go screen scan. I mean, screens just works. But they work one or so. Oh, they could go gold and go for the lead. They could do that. I mean, I have Grass Terror for you. And I mean, honestly, I don't mind going you, Scizor and Incineroar. Only on this type of competitive, which we have to watch out for. I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. We'll go Incineroar in our final slot, just because Incineroar works so well. I'm with this. I like it. Yeah, no, no Houndoom in this one, but we showcased Houndoom pretty well in match number one and really well in match number two, using Flash Fire perfectly. Once they spike each other with Lamora, I was like, this could be a huge turn. And they end up going into Heat Wave. We soaked it, we paralyzed, and we paralyzed the Lamora. And then it was just GG's from there. Dual Wing Beat actually does a ridiculous amount of damage with Scissor, even though it's not Stab. It's doing big damage. It ends up going Comfy and Arcanine. So he's going to intimidate me, but I like where we're at right here because we have a four times super effective move with Hyper Voice into his sweet Arcanine. I can set up the Reflect if I want to. Um, yeah, you probably have Grass Terror, let's be honest. But I'm cool with just going into Hyper Voice, just get that plus one boost. So I'm gonna do that, and I am just gonna set up a Reflect. And maybe just start throwing Paralyzes out after that. Yeah, there's Terror all day. That's simple, easy Grass Terror call. Um, what moves do you have, though? Rock Slide Head Smash, maybe? Is it Head Smash? Arcanine? Could be. But I doubt it because you have Intimidate. The Giga Drain's gonna fly out. You have Giga Drain. How dare you? We're gonna Terrestrialize. We're gonna have to Terrestrialize my... My girl right here. Terra Blast flying. You have Terra Blast. Alright, so Primo Arena just absolutely getting murked today. Standing no chance. Hyper Voice does fly. It does do damage. At least it's doing damage right now. 
and I get that throat spray boost. So we can Giga Drain KO me. Um, I could honestly save it and just intimidate. Which I am gonna do. Do I just start throwing paralyzers around? Yeah, might as well, right? Might as well. A little hard swap. Some paralyzers on the field. I'll play I'll play this annoying game. I don't think I won't. Send her out on the field, baby. Intimidate will keep Prima Arena alive. He's gonna go for a Drain Kiss. Wow, wow! That <laughs> damage! Yo, comfy, chill! Oh, you gotta chill. Thunder Wave now flies. We do land it, which is good news. Um, I can Flare Blitz pick up a KO onto that if I want to. Could pick out the Comfy as well. And he chooses to go for Rock Slide. Oh no. Makes me soak pretty well. Comfy looking a little scary. I am gonna fake it out. And on top of that, I'm just gonna paralyze it. You know? Maybe should have set up a Light Screen instead. But that's gonna be my play. Because you might even protect the, uh, the Arcanine here. I'd rather just paralyze it. Honestly, his Comfy's doing a lot of work to us right now. He withdraws, that's fine. That's why we're going after the Comfy. He's gonna send out who? Who you got here? Komoto comes out here. That's crazy. How? Like, that's, that, 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 that baffles me. There shouldn't be a move that comes out before Fake Out. It just shouldn't be a thing. It just shouldn't be a thing. Because now we're sitting here in a tough position. Um... And scissors are our best option. I'm gonna go into Skizzy. Um, we'll try to parting shot into this, uh, into this Komoto. And we'll look for the Bullet Punch KO. Or do we read and just go into Dual Wing Beat? I mean, I could actually just Dual Wing Beat you. But Bullet Punch, we kind of really need to get rid of Comfy, so I'm cool with this. Son of a biscuit, I should have Dual Wing Beat. <laughs> should have Dual Wing Beat. Cause now he's just gonna KO me with a fighting move. I'm getting torn up out here. Clangor's soul comes out here. At least we're able to party shot. Hmm. He gets all these boosts. Everything going crazy. He got the cost of his H HP, right? Yeah. I go for party shot and you're clear amulet. Are you kidding me? Everything's not going well for me right now. Nothing's going well. I think I might have to tear grass. I'm tear grass, Flare Blitz. I'm gonna go for dual wing beat. Give me this slot. See how much damage we can do. Cause yeah, there's the comfy withdrawal. Probably going back into. Oh man. Yeah, you definitely go back into Incineroar, right? No, you don't. Incineroar would have been a simple, easy play just for Intimidates. And I have a chance to KO here, then. I mean, Flare Blitz can do some nice damage. Dual Wing PP and Super Effect is going to be really nice. If we go Grass Terror, just in case he wants to go for a fighting move into the more. We have a shot at Soaking this. Yep, there it is. And my berry is going to trigger. So he's going to get back a little bit of HP. Just a little bit. About half of what he's taken out himself. I eat up my berry. No, it's just terrible that my party shot. Well, this thing was clear amulet because partner shot did not help out. And Dueling Beat's doing damage. We should double down the slot. We should double down. Would've been awesome. Would've been great. Flare Blitz now ripping. Doing great damage into Empoleon. And from here, do I just bullet punch this, uh... This Komoho? Probably could. I could just double down into it if I really want to. I mean, Bull Punch is gonna, gonna do just fine. So, you know what? We're gonna go for another Flare Blitz into this slot. We're just gonna rip a Bull Punch. Yep, nice. Awesome. Cool. See you later, Komo. Get it on out of here. It's a big time KO. So, pick up big time KO. Nice little terror from us as well to keep our Incineroar on the field. Comfy is the main threat. An Ice Beam gonna launch. Who You should soak. Never mind, we don't have Blade Screen up. And it was a crit. Okay, I I, I guess. All right, cool. <laughs> Non-stab by Ice Cream getting a crit. Just what we wanted. Just what we wanted. Now we're sitting in just a terrible position. Just an awful position, because they probably bring out assuming, Arcanine. Um, at that point, hopefully Primarina can outspeed, but I don't think it does. 
I mean, I would just protect Primarina at that point, maybe go for Dual Wing Beat, look to KO. But, I mean, they, then you're intimidating me, which is terrible. That's what I thought they were originally going to do, was just intimidate me. But you are paralyzed, so we should outspeed. Which is really good news. Now do I just stay on the field with Primarina? Maybe. I could protect it just to, just to feel out what we're doing, but I think we had to get off some turns here. I'm gonna double down. I'm doubling down. Come on, KO. That's some good damage. KO with this. We do. Moonblast slides over. We're gonna do about negative five damage, but if we get a special attack drop, this thing's competitive ability is going to go. And I have a weird feeling we're going to get a special attack drop, and I'm gonna be real upset here. I'm gonna be real upset. Scissor don't work. And now you're just outspeeding me. That hurts. Alright, so they're gonna bring out Comfy. They're gonna protect Comfy, thinking we're going for Bullet Punch, right? They're gonna protect Comfy, thinking we're going for Bullet Punch. And to be honest, this Empoleon has a perfect typing up against us. But yeah, they are so protecting Comfy this turn. So I'm gonna attack Empoleon, Bullet Punch to Comfy the next turn. I am minus one, so honestly, you could be able to soak up shots. Kinda wish we got off on late screen earlier in the match, but it'd be like that. Yeah, we know Comfy's protecting. All of our moves are terrible up against this Empoleon. And then I just end up protecting here? Yeah, I'm just gonna protect myself. Yeah, and just protect from Comfy. Alright, so we'll pull a punch Comfy this turn. Like to get rid of it. And then try to deal with Empoleon, but typing wise, I just think Empoleon's got the upper hand here. He's looking to rip Hydra Pumps as well. Better chill, Empoleon. Better chill. What do I gotta hope for? Maybe like crits? Like, is that the only way we win this match? I think. And Poyon just typing wise beats us out. But honestly, this is a crazy match. Scissor making a complete comeback here. Putting us in the match, but yeah. Tough news for us. Maybe we should have protected Primarina the turn before. He ends up just going for floral healing. He knows what's happening. That was a smart play. He knows. He's like, Comfy's dead. I, I gotta win this game with Empoleon. That's actually Comfy might be able to survive this. Yeah, see? I was gonna say that Intimidate works wonders. And Intimidate works wonders, and you're gonna land a Hydra Pump. That probably should KO me. Yeah, GG's. Good match here. Definitely a solid match. We got 2 1 for today's video. I absolutely love this Scizor and Houndoom team. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Scizor and Houndoom lighting it up on the Regulation H format. Or in the Regulation H format. I had a ton of fun using this Pokemon. Scizor always clutch, doing big time damage with that Life Orb and Technician. Houndoom, amazing paired up with Scizor because you can predict fire moves and just go into Houndoom, use Flash Fire, and then kind of just go in from there but yeah this team all around was great he had a few meta pokemon had a few off meta pokemon pretty much had everything regulation h has to offer but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positivity today i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody